Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I got a little follow-up video on uh, the collection video that I shot. And that was just where I went out and collected some fatwood and I showed you guys uh, roughly how to do it yourself. Just kind of what to look for with the stumps and all and how I do it in my area. Well, now that I have it, I'm going to bust it up the way that I like to store it. Really, if you're just storing it just to have it, I it wouldn't hurt to leave it just one piece. And then whenever you need it, you just bust off the length that you need. And I keep it this length because I put pouches on my, my knife sheaths. And this is roughly the same length as my pouch so it'll fit in them and it's just a, a size that I like to do it's up to you guys if you leave it one piece it doesn't have all these edges that it can uh, dry out a little bit from so I just I just baton it down I pick my sizes and I go for it and you just need a fixed blade knife this is my pronghorn and a baton my baton my baton's has seen pretty bad days. The other part of it was around here somewhere, but I don't know where I've done with it. But what I'll do is this piece, I know it's going to be kind of wonky. I can see that it's got the knots in there like that. It's not going to want to, um, come on, buddy. It's not going to want to split. We want a single focus like that. It's not going to want to split as easy as, say, this piece. And I like splitting fatwood because it splits really uniform most of the time. Watch none of this stuff split very uniform. But I like putting something down on the bottom. Uh, you can put it on a stump or do it like this if you want to. And it just keeps it from sticking it in the, in the dirt. And like I said, it busts super super easy and just go with the sizes that you want it and with the piece on the bottom it's just it's very rewarding satisfying I should say busting this stuff and then depending on what you want to do if you're just putting it in a fire kit I just chunk a piece in there like that you could build a lot of fires with just one piece of this but I'll take and I split it down even further when it goes in my my pouches just to Stretch it as far as I can. And again, it's it's personal preference size wise completely up to you guys how you want to do it you can do really thin slivers but it takes a great shape when you start batoning it down you can really get pretty precise with it a lot of times But this would be a good bit. This, you could have enough to put some in all of your kits like this. But I try to keep it at small pieces. So, like, for example, that little small piece here. It's just a small piece of fatwood. 
And, you know, depending on how... Let's try this piece. This is the one that's got those two knots in it. Face that towards the bottom. Yeah. Those knots make it weird. Just did that and split good. But it burns well anyway. So just because it has knots doesn't mean you know you can't use it. It just means it's gonna not be as uniform when you're processing it down. But yeah, so we figure we got two, we'll count that as one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. About 26 pieces of good fat wood there out of that one piece that we got. And with a supply like that, you could use, uh, you know, more than you necessarily needed to get your fire started just to... You know, give yourself that, that little extra edge. You know, the biggest thing about firecraft is your prep. So if you can go in with a good, uh, good head start, more the better. And like, if I was going to put this piece in my belt pouch, I'd clean, I'd clean a lot of that off. It's stuff that's not really usable, and then. I like to take and knock the corners down on it a little bit just so it's not sharp. I do this especially on a neck knife kit. Ghost truck. Then I'll just knock the, the corners off. camera don't want to focus does it but it just keeps it makes it more friendly as mr G mr gibson says and that's that funky crispy stuff you can just take off of it but that's uh the way that i process down my that would once i get it into a little easier stored pieces but that's it processing some fat wood uh, hope you guys uh, get something out of these videos until next time later